What's up guys, Kieran here. Gonna do installment number three of jazz CDs, jazz albums that I have that I would love on vinyl. So the first two in the series I focused on Blue Note. As I mentioned, most of the, the jazz albums I was buying on CD were Blue Note. A lot of the Rudy Van Gelder reissues. So this video is gonna be all prestige albums, so which were all Rudy Van Gelder um, remasters as well. So it's kind of in the same vein as Blue Note, they were available, I was buying them up, those Rudy Van Gelder remasters. It was uh, late 50, mid to late 50s and all the way through to the mid 60s, I would say. Haven't listened to a lot of these uh, for a while. I'm in learn discovering so much new music thanks to you guys in the VC. A lot of uh, new jazz that I'm getting into, 70s jazz, uh, more spiritual free stuff that I don't have on CD at all, but I do revisit these uh, quite often. I just have a lot, so can't listen to them all all the time. But uh, all these albums are this albums I listen to a lot. So for those of you that are really into jazz, you probably know most of these. Maybe there's one or two that you don't, but most likely I'm assuming you know them all. If you're new to jazz, all these records, all these albums I'm about to show are great starting points if, to begin just discovering the genre. So first one was a, is a longtime favorite of mine and one of my favorite artists, and it is Youssef Latif, Eastern Sound. So this is the first Youssef Latif I was exposed to, and I absolutely love this album. As you can see, as you can tell by the title, Eastern Sounds, uh, you have some Eastern influences in the music. I mean, Youssef Latif is always doing all types of cool stuff, experimenting with different instruments, making his own instruments. This one, so I'll just show you, I mean, all of the remasters have the Prestige Fireworks label, even though a lot of them were necessarily issued on that label when they first came out for the reissue series these are this is what they uh they gave the look for all the cds but this one it says here was originally issued actually uh, as a moodsville lp which i guess was a subsidiary new jazz and moodsville of prestige records on discogs it says 1961 moodsville's and then there's also a prestige version from 1961 i've never seen this on record in any form reissue in any of the stores that I shop at, but this is a favorite of mine. I definitely recommend this. It's for 1961, definitely ahead of its time. It's not like free or anything, but it's definitely hinting towards more where some of the music was going in the mid 60s and you go into the 70s. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. And this is Youssef Latif plays tenor sax on this, as well as oboe and flute. You have Barry Harris on piano, Ernie Farrow on bass, and Rabat, I don't even know what that is, and Lex Humphreys on drums. And you got nine tracks on here. So definitely, if you don't know this, this is one to check out as soon as possible. Next one is a classic from one of the all-time greats, and it is John Coltrane, Soul Train. When I was first getting into jazz, what really got me into it was the soulful jazz, and this is one of the ones that stood out for me. This and the bluesy and kind of soulful stuff is what really uh, got my attention and got me wanting to buy more jazz albums. And this is just the classic uh, lineup, John Coltrane, Red Garland on piano, Paul Chambers on bass, and Arthur Taylor. You guys know this one. It's from 1958. This is... Not up there with his, you know, A Love Supreme and maybe Blue Train, but definitely a classic, classic Coltrane album on Prestige. Next one, another great tenor saxophonist, Sonny Rollins, Saxophone Colossus. This is another essential album. And this one is from, what year is this? 56, so a bit earlier. But still great, great, great music here that I still enjoy every time I listen to it and you have Tommy Flanagan on piano, Doug Watkins on bass and Max Roach, Max Roach, the legendary Max Roach on drums. So Saxophone Colossus, love this cover too. Same as the Prestige, I mean maybe not on the level as the Blue Notes, but the covers definitely are awesome on these uh, Prestige albums. Would love to have them in the vinyl format. So another one, so combining the last two I showed, we have Tenor Madness. This is the Sonny Rollins Quartet 
uh, with John Coltrane. So you have Sonny Rollins and uh, John Coltrane. So two beasts of the saxophone together. And I think this is just that one track that they did called Tenor Madness. And then the rest, uh, I don't think uh, John Coltrane's there, but it's the same lineup. Uh, yeah, John Coltrane's only on the, the title track, Tenor Madness, and the rest is just uh, Red Garland, Paul Chambers, and Philly Joe Jones. So classic, classic uh, quartet there. Same guys that uh, a lot of the same guys you see it with Miles Davis over the years, Paul Chambers and Red Garland. And moving along with Red Garland for his albums that he led. So you have Red Garland's Piano. And this is just with Paul Chambers on bass and Arthur Taylor on drums. So some really good um, trio music. Oh, the, uh, the Tenor Madness, by the way, I wanted to say was from uh, May 24th, 1956. And this is from June 22nd. So they were recorded very, very close together. Less than a month apart. Or no, just about a month apart. Uh, and this one is from a, just a bit later, it's from 1956, end of the year, 56 and 57. So a lot of this music was recorded around the same time that I'm showing right now in the first few. Just amazing, amazing stuff. Love the cover on this as well. Another Red Garland I got, but this one's featuring John Coltrane and Donald Byrd. This is Soul Junction, so obviously if I saw that title, Soul Soul Train, Soul Junction, I was digging it, I was checking it out. And this is from 1957, November 15th. And you have, uh, who do you got? John Coltrane, Red Garland, Donald Byrd, George Joyner, and Arthur Taylor on drums. So that's one to check out that is not as well known, but still great music. This is some soulful stuff from later on in the 60s. 1966. This one, I wonder if it was released on Prestige originally. Anyway, Sonny Chris. This is Chris. So this is the only album I have by Sonny Chris, but this is one I enjoyed a lot over the years. And you have Paul Chambers on bass as well on this. Then you have Walter Davis on piano and Alan Dawson on drums. Uh, first track, Black Coffee. You have a track called Greasy, When Sonny Gets Blue, Steve's Blues. They do a version of Skylark, so... If you don't know this one, and you like kind of uh, soulful jazz, this is good. And moving along into the soulful, with, continuing with the soulful stuff, Jack McDuff, Honey Dripper. So this is the first uh, exposure I had to Jack McDuff with the organ, Hammond B3. You have Jimmy Forrest on tenor sax, Grant Green on guitar, Ben Dixon on drums. So this is a really good Hammond, early Hammond uh, album. This one's from 61. Uh, and yeah, this is nice. Honey Dripper. This is one that I absolutely love with on a guitar album. Boogaloo Joe Jones, right on brother. You have Rusty Bryant on tenor and alto sax. Charles Ireland on organ. Jimmy Lewis on fender bass. And Bernard Purdy on drums. Pretty Purdy. So, sorry, it's a bit dark. Cover on that is... Awesome, can't really see it, but this one's also later, 1970, so they put it on that, but it would have been on the blue or I think maybe even purple prestige label. That's what that looks like, awesome color. I've seen kind of different shades of this cover. Uh, I don't know if that's just because of the pictures when shopping online. So this one's more actually more readily available on LP because uh, it's from the it's later one but I have not been able to get one. And then the last four kind of go together, well, mostly three, but they're all Miles Davis. So over the 50s, Miles Davis prestige stuff. You have uh, cooking, relaxing, working. So these were all recorded around the same time, maybe even the same day. Yeah, this, they just went in and they ripped these out. I think, I, I don't know, I read, I remember reading years ago, he was trying to just finish, uh, his the albums that he was that he owed prestige I guess to move on to uh, I guess working with Columbia was what happened after that but these are all from October 26 1956 except for uh, a few tracks maybe on uh, each one that they had already recorded but this is all uh, the classic classic quintet of John Coltrane Red Garland Paul Chambers and Philly Joe Jones so these are all classic classic albums 
you don't have him. Not up there with his, you know, kind of blue sketches of Spain and all, you know, his maybe 60s masterpieces, but definitely good albums to have. And then an even earlier one is Miles Davis All-Stars Walking, and this is from 1954. Bigger lineup on here. You have J.J. Johnson, Lucky Thompson, I don't even know how to say this or I've never heard of him, Dave Stilderkraut, sorry for messing that, Horace Silver on piano, Percy Heath on bass, and of course Kenny Clark on drums from that period, that's who he was working with. So that's it for Prestige, I don't know if those are all my Prestige albums, but those are probably most of them, I might have another couple lying around, but so... After Blue Note, I would say Prestige is what I was really digging. I definitely have a lot of Columbia uh, because of Miles Davis as well as uh, some Mingus on Columbia and quite a bit of Monk on Columbia. So I might do a video on maybe Mink and Mungus together. And I still have a bunch of Blue Notes to show. I have a stack of Lee Morgan. So stay tuned. I'll do another one of these when I can. And I picked up a few records last weekend. Uh, not enough to make a video, but maybe I'll mix it together with a uh, what I've listened to recently. But I got a few records that I was pretty happy to find, and I'll share those with you guys soon. So hope everyone's well. It's starting to get warmer here, approaching zero degrees on some days, which is nice. But today's back to minus 15. Anyway, looking forward to seeing some more videos from everyone in the VC. Take care. Peace.